In scenario five, the crew are in the approach of their fourth and final sector of the day. They are flying into their home base and everything is very familiar and the weather is fine. On the final approach, they suddenly encounter an error that they have never seen before. You will see where the monitoring completely breaks down when the first officer starts to try and find the failure diagnostic in the QRH and the captain tries various actions to clear the fault. We will also see a classic situation where the failure results in a loss of trust in other aspects of system operation. They completely disregard two GPWS safety nets, preferring to rely on their own perception of safe flight as they can see the runway clearly, rather than the perception of the system which detected the proximity of a ridge of high ground in between. Thanks very much, okay, your one, there's been no calls. 2500. That's live. Yeah, what's happened there? I have lost all my speed books, and we've had an IOP 1 failure down there, okay, that's new, I haven't seen one of those before. Um, okay, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Well, the autopilot's still in. But what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you control, but before I do that, actually, if you want to go to the QRH, and uh, just have a look at uh, an eye at one failure, just to see if that helps us at all. And also take uh, flat five, please. Uh, Weasel 764, left turn heading 300 degrees to intercept the localizer. Once established, descend with a glide path. Left turn 300 degrees, when established, localizer, descend with the glide path. Weasel 764. That's 300 on the heading, and the approach is armed. Okay, while you're doing that as well, I'm going to see if I can uh, get my bugs back by just having a look at your ADC because it must be something to do with that. So, uh, okay, your, your side ADC, that's uh, not worked, unfortunately. Go back to normal, and I've lost the approach mode as well. I'll just I'll put that back in. So, approach mode is back there. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, the autopilot seems to be uh, Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, so that's helpful. OK, well, well it's the water pipe seems to be flying, it also looks OK, so if you're happy, you've got the bugs your side, so you have control. OK, I have control. Speed below 200, selected. HSI is still to my side, but it's, it's captured now, isn't it? So we're as well leave that. Flight slow. Yeah, I think that must be connected with this. Caution, one terrain. Player. Again. Caution, better. terrain. Yeah, it must just be the failure. Terrain, terrain. Pull up. Pull uh, up. We've lost our pull cell. Pull up. Pull up. Yeah, pull up. Yeah, we are low. Okay, you can weasel just get yourself back to the glide. Confirm you're established on the ILS. Um, I'll take the radio. Uh, weasel uh, 764, uh, we're just uh, going up to the glide now. We uh, got a little bit low there. Weasel 764, roger. We've only got flat five at the moment. We've just been reenacting a fairly straightforward systems fault uh, which uh, led the crew through distraction into a fairly serious safety event. What happened was the crew were established uh, on the intercept for the approach. Uh, it was their home base, it was good weather, uh, the crew were relaxed and confident in their ability to be able to continue the approach. They just received cabin secure and then they had an IOP-1 failure. Uh, this is a failure that they weren't familiar with and there was very little help for them in the QRH. Uh, significantly what the IOP-1 failure did is it dropped out all their speed bugs, but perhaps more importantly, outsell uh, was lost. Now outsell on the Q400 is not automatically armed. Uh, and uh, the crew are required to, to actually select it themselves if it has dropped out. Unfortunately, in this case, through distraction in dealing with the fault, uh, the crew failed to notice that outsail had dropped out uh, and subsequently descended well below the glide path and resulted in a, a pull-up command. So the root cause of the problem was uh, distraction. 
Uh, and the important thing obviously in aviation when we are distracted is we remember that we must aviate first, then navigate, communicate and manage. What this crew did was they went to the management phase trying to resolve the problem that they had, that they were struggling to understand and they, uh, through the distraction, didn't aviate. Hey, while you're doing that as well, I'm going to see if I can uh, get my bugs back by just having a look at your ADC because it must be something to do with that. So, uh, okay, you also had ADC, that's not worked, unfortunately. Go back to normal and I've lost the approach mode as well. I'll just put that back in. So approach mode Okay, we also had all that's normal. In that instance, should have been coming back to the FMA, looking what FMA modes they had and what FMA modes they expected, and reselecting the FMA modes that they should have had, uh, and therefore be able to safely complete the flight. Because they failed to do that, the aircraft descended well below the glide path. So, having seen uh, how the crew dealt with it. What we'll now look at is perhaps a better way that they might have dealt with it, which would have avoided the descending well below the glide path. Bye, Bye. Hello. Cabin secure. Thanks, Jill. See you on the right. Yeah, bye. Bye. See Thanks very much. There's been no calls for us. And you're at the top. Bye, one. Ah, what's just 2500. Okay, ran out live. Okay, we've just lost quite a few of my FMA modes there, so I'm going to make sure we've got heading selector still there, and I'm going to put it back into VS mode, and outsell dropped out actually, so that's outsell VS minus 600, 2600, outstar. And we've had an eye out one failure down there. Can I take flat five please? Okay, I have lost my bugs, everything else looks normal, I just lost my speed bugs. Weasel 764, left turn heading 300 zero, zero degrees, intercept and localize, once established, descend on the glide path. Left heading 300 zero, zero degrees, when established, I glide and descend on the glide path. Okay, 300 zero, zero, with heading, Check. and we are outlocked. Now we're going to arm the approach. Okay, approach is armed. So, all I've not got is my bugs, so what I'm going to do is I will keep flying the aircraft and I'll fly the speed, so 120 is for rep, 47 should be here for big climb. You've got the bugs your size so you can monitor me to make sure that I don't, uh, you know, so do, do make sure you do careful monitoring but the usual calls on that. Okay. Happy with that? Any questions at all? Okay, brilliant in that case. There's low start. Let's go around heading selected. Weasel 764, contact Exeter Tower, frequency 119 or decimal 8. Exeter Tower 119 at decimal 8, Weasel 764, bye bye.